الم تر الذين قيل لهم كفوا ايديكم هاف يو نوت كنسيدر ذا كيس اوف دوز اوف بروفيت محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم تو هوم ات واز سيد كفوا ايديكم هولد باك يور هاندز you know what was the order of the day for 12 long years at makkah no retaliation passive resistance stick to your position no going back but no retaliation no revenge take all the persecution with patience isbiru ya ala yasir fa inna ma'adakum al janna حضرت سمیہ رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ حضرت یاسر رضی اللہ تعالی پرسیکیوٹڈ بیڈلی ٹارچرڈ بٹ دی پروفٹ یوز ٹو پاس اینڈ سے اسبرو یا علی یاسر فاینا بعدکم الجنہ ہیو پیشنس یور پلیس اف پرومس دس جنہ یو ار بینگ اویٹڈ دیر یو ہیو ٹو گو دیر سو دیٹ واز دی آرڈر اف دی ڈے But here's the very big question. Who said so? Kufu adiyakum. We don't find these words in any Makki surah. Now there are only two possibilities. Either it was really the command of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, or it was wahiy khafi to Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. It might have been his own judgment, his own istihad, his own opinion. which allah subhanahu wa taala didn't contradict or allah subhanahu wa taala had ordered him in wahi khafi not in wahi jali we don't find it in quran in the animaki sura kufu aliyakum these words are appearing only here in this badani sura surah an nisa but it was said before who said it definitely muhammad said it but whether he said it on his own or it was a command through that another wahi wahi ghair matlu wahi khafi which is not included in the quran both possibilities are there alam tara ila alladhina qila lahum kuffu aydiyakum wa aqimu as-salata wa atu az-zakah go on establishing prayer and paying the the necessary charity and alms falamma kutiba alayhim al-qital and now when this qital has been ordained upon them before they used to say we should be allowed to fight for the cause of allah now but the the divine you know commandment either through muhammad or from muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam initially was no hold back no retaliation no fighting but now conditions have changed falamma kutiba alayhim al qital now it has been ordained and prescribed for them اذا فريق منهم يخشون الناس كخشية الله now a party a group among them they are fearing people as they should they should have feared Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa ashadda khashiya or more fear of Allah than the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they are fearing these kuffars and these armies and these Quraysh and so on the enemies they should have feared Allah not these enemies of Allah وقالوا and they were saying saying they said ربنا لما كتبت علينا القتال oh our lord why have you prescribed this going to war for your cause لولا اخرتنا الى اجل قريب why didn't you give us more respite you would have deferred it delayed it a little more لولا اخرتنا الى اجل قريب قل متاع الدنيا قليل tell them all these provisions of this worldly life are very small trivial you want to live more how many years do you want more and what will you be getting here while you know with allah the paradise kul mataa'u dunya qaleel wal akhiratu khairul liman ittaqa wal akhira the hereafter is much better but for whom for the persons who have real taqwa who have saved themselves from the wrath of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who have saved themselves from the displeasure of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala what they are going to get in the akhirah what is if you compare to this dunya what is it nothing 
ومل حیات دنیا اللہ بتا الغرور یعنی اقبال سے از ویری بیوٹیفلی کیا ہے تو نے بتائے غرور کا سودا یو ہیو ایکسپٹیڈ بتائے غرور دس آل یو نو آل ڈس سیٹ ومل حیات دنیا اللہ بتا الغرور ولا تزلمون فتیلا اینڈ یو ول ناٹ بی رانگ on the day of judgment in the hereafter fatil i explained last night either the husk very you know is a very thin membrane round the date stone or a very small thread in the cleft of the date stone fatil has two meanings you know very trivial allah is not going to wrong you a bit aina ma takunu yudlikum al maut why don't you want to go to war You want to live? Don't want to die? But you will have to die. Anamatakun, wherever you will be, yudri kumul maut. The death will overtake you. Walau kun tum fi burujin mushayyada. Although you might be in the fortified towers, in a fort, all doors closed, all gates guarded. Not even a bird can come in, but the death will come in. There can be no barrier. Aina ma takunu yudri kumul maut walau kun tum fi burudi mushayyada wa in tusibhum hasanatun yakulu hazehi min indillah. Now this is again a very beautiful expression of the psychology of these munafiqin. In tusibhum hasanatun, if they they get something good, some fortunate thing happens. They get victory. What they say? Had he been in the law? This is from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. It's by the grace of Allah. They are big muwahhidin. It's from all Allah. Wa in tu sibhum sayyatun. And if there is some misfortune which has befell them, something unpleasant has happened, they say Yakulun had he been in the. They come and quarrel with the Prophet. This is from you. It was your mistake. You took us out in the battle of Ohud. Well, we were of the opinion that we should defend from within the city walls of the city of Badina. You took us out. It is all before because of your own strategy, your mistake, your blunder. That was the condition. You know, the basic question was. They were not actually and readily accepting Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. If something good has come, oh, it's from Allah. If something you know misfortune befall, it is due to you, oh Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Kul kulum min inda Allah. Tell them everything is from Allah, whether good or bad, whether pleasant or unpleasant. Nothing can befall you without His permission, without His command. Whatever comes, comes from Allah. Ma asaba kamin musibatin illa bezni Allah. Famale haula il qom la ya kaduna ya fkahuna hadisa. So what has happened to these people? They don't understand anything. Everything is coming from Allah. It's the basic tenet of iman. La haula wa la quwata illa billah. So if they profess to believe, they must know these things. Why are they blaming Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam? Now another way, another mode of expression of the same divine law: Ma sabab ka min hasanatin, O Muslims, whatever befalls you, whatever is pleasant for you, good for you, from in Allah, it is from Allah. You should say it is from Allah. Wa ma sabab ka min sayyatin wa min nafsik, and whatever evil befalls you is from your own nafs. Your mistakes, your your own, not of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And as for you, O Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, for salna kalin nasi rasula, we have sent you only as a messenger. But kafa billahi shahida, and Allah is sufficient as a witness. What you have done, He knows it. What they are doing, He knows it. So don't worry. You will have to listen these things. Wala tasmaun na min al-lazina wa tul kitab min qablekum wa min al-lazina ashraku azan kasira. 
in the very beginning it was said to muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam wasbir ala ma yaquluna wahjurhum hajran jamila wa laqad na'lamu annaka yaziqu sadruka ma yaqulun be very well know that what they are saying is painful it's hurting your heart but you have to take it with patience wasbir ala ma yaquluna wahjurhum hajran jamila because you are the messenger of allah as for the decision of the day of judgment we ourselves are sufficient to be witnesses we know it we know what you did and we know what they are doing 